All right, so we are at another adventure and we are in Newcastle, Indiana. And I'm Chris, this I'm is Margie. Margie, and this is AFA, Hattie Family Adventures. And uh, we're here to see something that has a lot to do with Indiana. So let's go in and take a look. currently in the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame here in Newcastle and we're gonna look through different stuff and uh, looks like there's a lot to go over all right here we have the 2019 inductees and we have Orville Bowes and he played for Butler And then we have Kenneth Barlow, who played for Notre Dame. And then just one over, we have an area for the movie Hoosiers. And if you just watched our video, you know we were at the Hoosier gym just not too long ago. But they have an actual film picture. They have pictures from the movies. They have uh, the DVD boxes up there. They have a hickory jersey and a screenplay and then a diorama of the guys from the team. And here we have some of the female basketball players that were inducted this year. We have Cheryl Bonset and she played for Eastern Illinois University. And some of the stuff. And then over here we have Meredith Sanders Barone. And wow, she played for West Lafayette High School, but she was at New Mexico State University. So Cheryl Onset was uh, on the all-star team for Indiana and uh, she went to Scottsburg High School. So I didn't mention that. All right, and here we actually have some of uh, the people that from Indiana that went from high school basketball and college that actually made it to pro. So we got some of the girls that Alex Bentley, who went to Ben Davis High School and she plays for the Atlanta Dream. We have Stephanie Mubunga. Sorry if I butchered that. She went to Brownsburg High School and she plays for the Indiana Fever. We got Jackie Young, who went to Princeton Community High School, who plays for the Las Vegas Aces. And Skylar Diggins Smith. We went to South Bend Washington High School. She plays for the Dallas Wings. Over here we have Greg Popovich, Maryville High School. It's kind of hard to see, there's a glare. But he played for the San Antonio Spurs. Terry Stotts, Bloomington North High School, played for the Portland Trail Blazers. George Hill. Broad Ripple High School, he played for the Milwaukee Bucks. Dylan Wilder, or I'm sorry, Windler. Perry Meriden High School, played for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yogi Farrell, Park Tudor High School. Sacramento Kings. <clears throat> Here we go, Glenn Robinson III, Lake Central High School, Golden State Warriors. Etwan Moore. East Central or EC Central High School, New Orleans Pelicans. 
And we have Courtney Lee, Pike High School, Dallas Mavericks. And around the side, of course, we got the big Celtics jersey. It's Gordon Hayward, who went to Brownsburg High School, plays for the Boston Celtics now, who also played for Butler. We have Caleb Swanigan. Is that right? Homestead High School, Sacramento Kings. We got Cody Zeller, played for the Wash Washington High School, Charlotte Hornets. And here's a jersey. We got Brad Stevens, Zion Bills High School, Boston Celtics. Mike Conley, Lawrence North High School for the Utah Jazz. And we have Gary Harris, Hamilton SE High School. Played for the Denver Nugget, Nuggets. Eric Gordon, North Central High School. Houston Rockets. And in the background we have Romeo Langford, New Albany High School. Boston Celtics, Trey Lyle, Lyles, Tech High School, San Antonio Spurs, Jeff Teague, Pike High School, Minnesota Timberwolves. Alright, so here we have what they would have used in the first part of basketball, which is a, it's a peach basket, right? Yes. And uh, so that's what they used so this is just early equipment so if you would score a basket they would actually have to pause the game to get the ball out now they did go on over to a hoop like this that had a potato sack on it but once again if you made a basket they'd have to pause the game to get the ball out and then eventually went to the hoop we know today now we actually have a pair of pants and these were used at Freelandville High School which played its games outdoors in 1904 on a cinder parking lot so they didn't only keep them for warmth but also for protection because of playing on a cinder parking lot so and when we got some a stopwatch and all kinds of stuff and an old scoreboard which has a crank to change the numbers For that and then over here we have what they believe is was it the first basketball the first ball used at yeah at beaver dam and they said by looking at it you could tell it was more of a passing game than than what it is like today all right here we have the miracle Milan. And uh, basically, this is the team that inspired the movie Hoosiers. And as you can see, they have paper clippings from it. They have a jacket. Looks like cheerleaders or a mascot for the Indians. And then a Letterman sweater. And uh, here we have a bracket. This is no, no. Alright, so here we have Damon Bailey. He's a well-known basketball player here in Indiana. And he set, was it the, did you say he set the, or broke the record for scoring? Damon set Indiana state scoring record with 3,134 career points. Alright, so, uh, but one thing we do know that they're going to have a hall, an all-star game at the Hoosier Gym. What next? I think it's March or next year. I thought it was next month. Is maybe, what I thought he maybe said. It was next month. And uh, his son will be playing, so he will be at the Hoosier Gym to see his son play in an all-star game. All right, so they have an area where you can compare your foot to the size of uh, certain players. Yeah, that's. See, look at that. That's missed basketball. My foot is. Oh, the size of uh, yeah, oops. Get that cord out of there. 
thought so. she has bigger feet than yeah, me. Yeah, that's what to know. My foot is the same size as a, a female basketball player. Okay, let me see about mine for... Oops, it might have flipped upside down on me. RG's looking, checking her feet. Now, I don't know if everybody knows Rick Smith's. Look at the That is Rick Smith's foot compared to mine. They, yeah, there's Rick Smith's shoes. That's crazy. Well, not all of them are Rick Smith's, but the first set are, and they're signed. Here we have an area for Larry Bird. So we have his Hawks jersey with Larry Bird. Uh, when he played for Spring Valley, Spring Hawks. And we have his Indiana State jersey when he played as a Sycamore. They have a team pitcher. They actually were runner-ups in 1978 and 79. Here's a piece of art, Hero Legacy, with Larry Bird's signature. We have a very most memorable Sports Illustrated, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, who was a rivalry for a long time, from high school to college to the pros. There's Larry Bird. That's when he was coach. For the pa or on the Pacers, but also they got a picture of him when he was on the Celtics on the front of a weedy box. So they got the same picture back here, but they've changed the colors and changed some of the stuff to the point where it's ISU. Yeah, and here's the statue of Larry Bird. Yeah. Alright, so they have areas for the Hall of Fame, and we have the 2019 class. Obviously, the ones upstairs were just probably uh, the bigger names that most people seen, knew. So, there we go. And then we have 2019, and then they just go through the years. I'm not going to go in naming off of them. This is 2007. Actually, it's all 2004 through 2008. And they're just on both sides, just names of everybody who's been inducted into the Hall of Fame. And you just walk through and they tell a little bit about them. All right, we have, right here we actually have a picture of the men of Myland. But plump, white, and Schroeder. <laughs> this is what is it? He's the first seven-foot player in Indiana high school. Stand to him. Front. So like this is he's seven foot. Look at this though. Look, that's my arm completely stretched out. <laughs> His name was Mike McCoy, and That's he right. played for Fort Wayne South State, or in the Fort Wayne yeah. South State's champion. He set a scoring record at Miami, Florida, and was drafted by the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> All right, so in this spot, it's where you're going to try and block the shot. Margie at how tall? Five foot one. Five foot one is going to try and <laughs> block the shot. Okay, so, all right. So here she goes. All right. <laughs> she, yeah. No, not even trying. I already know. There's no way of blocking those shots. Sorry, guys, you can see that. So, Margie's making me do this. 
It's the game is on the line. It's the ultimate moment in high school basketball. There's five seconds to play. Your team is down by a point. Can you hit the game winning shot? I can. I already. Yeah, she says the quarter can tell all. I can already tell you. I'm not gonna hit it. She's gonna record me. The ball has been released. Oh, you missed. Yep, it already started. Oh. I hope I got it all. I don't think we made it, folks. I didn't even know. I didn't even know the time. I didn't it even. I didn't so, even know either. It'd be nice if I gave you a, a, a little. little yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. That was the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. And uh, so far, we had some fun, didn't we, Margie? Oh, you got to see me make a fool of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, uh, like, and comment. And as always, catch you on the next adventure. See ya. And remember, adventure is out there. Mm -hmm.